I'll say um, funding plays a key role, but um, without funding, yeah, I probably would have tried um, starting a company. So still, I would have been able to build a company of this sort, um, like like retail tower. But the funding uh, plays a greater role. And so the fact is that once you're from a school, you need sometimes um, you need a funding to give you a head start. And so I think um, the funding plays a key role in getting younger people to um, start their companies, to be able to raise funding and to build uh, um, a great portfolio. Then the next company that probably they want to build, they don't need to raise funding. So right now, what a company needs is um, the right connections um, and higher and more funding. So as a company, you get to a stage of your life as a startup where you need to be connected to um, partners in the industry. And the partners play a key role in you know, your customer acquisition, in how well you're able to do the product and make sure the product is up to standard. So those are some of the um, things that we need forward, um, having the right people and the connections to um, you know, do this. When I say connections, it also comes as mentors. So you need the right mentors to guide you in the industry to show you, you know, where you can uh, um, sharpen your product to make it much more valuable. But above all, um, at this stage, as part of startup, once you're making revenues and you want to move to the next level, you need higher funding. And so sometimes you need to raise 500,000 or 1 million USD to be able to do this. And so, um, but at this stage that uh, of a company, I would see having the right connections, having the right mentors to guide you in the industry, to, you know, to grow sales and revenues from the company itself. So they, we need um, connections in terms of um, the, the industry partners. So our software, for instance, has to do with uh, integrating with a lot of global software companies in the US and in the UK. And so once you're in Ghana, you need the right connection to help you reach out to these people to um, um, see you as a successful partner that is coming from Ghana. Um, secondly, when I say the right connections, uh, it, it also has to do with the product itself. So you need people or mentors who can guide you in areas where you can make the product stronger, um, whether it is in the tech, in sales, you just need the right connections and the mentors who would show you from their experience so that you don't make the same mistakes that you know they made in the past. So that is what I'll say in terms of the product, in terms of in the, having partnership with industry players, uh, you need the right connections and mentors. Is, um, it depends on the kind of uh, startup. So, if you want to do, um, you know, a, a software startup that people have to use, it, it, I don't think it is easy. Um, it's a bit rather difficult and challenging sometimes. Um, and then the fact that you know you have to deal with several other factors from internet penetration to um, adoption of um, software startup, or even if it's a downloadable app, how well people are able to uh, um, take the first mover advantage to you know install your app early adopters test the app for you it's a bit difficult and so you have a lot of talented guys who have built products but it's difficult to gain the critical mass to jump onto the platform to use it install it let them get feedback and improve and I so I then say um, um, it's not that easy um, and also you, you don't have the, the, the pool of talent that is available for software startups to tap into. Um, and then so you have most of the software startups or tech startups having to do trial and error to see what works. And so that in itself is a waste of time versus if they had the right talents available, the right resources to tap into like incubators, like tech hubs, that would play a greater role for people who want to start tech startups. Um, and also lastly is the funding. You know, most tech startups also have good ideas, but the funding sources are limited and so um, with limited resources either they you know have to struggle to expand or they just have to build a smaller project that you know meets their daily needs but it doesn't really help them grow and scale the product.